Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Casey. I've got two little kiddos in the back and we're gonna go shopping today at Target. Um, we don't really need anything. Casey wants to look at toys and we're just gonna peruse around. We haven't been here as a family in a while. So, gonna do a little Target trip, probably go get some lunch, go to the gym this afternoon. So, you guys are gonna follow us around for the day. So let's go ahead and head on into Target and see what kind of trouble we can get into. They have some cute suits at Target. I love this top right here, but they don't have it in my size. I have to get a large because of my boobies, but they don't have a large and I don't see any bottoms either. This one's pretty cute too. Shoe section is a complete madhouse, but they've got really cute shoes for girls. I think Laney's in a size four now, but the problem is, is I only see five as the smallest. I don't see any fours, but I wanted to show you another super cute pair. I would love to get these for her, but it's a size five and five is just way too big. Her threes look like they're getting a little snug. That's why I wanted to try a four, but I don't see that as an option. So I think the smallest size that they have is a five. They don't really have anything for boys either. I need recommendations on places to look for sandals. I really, for boys specifically, I want to get Kaysen a pair of sandals, but I am having a hard time finding them. So. If you know of a good place to look for toddler sandals for boys, let me know. Made it to Kaysen's favorite section. I really haven't had a chance to look at anything because he's been begging to look at toys. I did, however, find this super cute PJ set for Buggy. This is official cupcake taste tester. And then look at all the little cupcakes. So cute. I decided to try an 18 month because all of her other Carter's PJs are 12 month and the shirts look like they're getting a little short. So I'm just getting one set right now to see how the 18 month fits her. I think it's going to be a little bit big. So I'm just going to wash it and hopefully it shrinks just a tad. Um, and I'll test it out and see if she's ready for the 18 month PJs. You like looking at Legos? Ladybug, what you got going on, sister? This is one of the rompers that I hauled for her in my toddler summer clothing haul from Harper Canyon is the brand, and I got it from Nordstrom Rack. What is that, Kaysen? Star Wars. Sure. Kaysen's leading the way. You need something? I don't know about that. Oh, it's the vulture. Wow. Baby. What's that one? Baby. I don't know. We came to the Marvel section. His obsession is real. You see this one? Oh, yeah. Isn't that... Who got you that already? Mama did. That's right. They got the Black Panther mask and the glove. What do you think about superheroes, Buggy? Do you like... Superheroes, Lainey? No. Wow, you look so cool. Um, you love those, don't you? <laughs> Show me a Black Panther move. <laughs> Hi. Kaysen has made his way into the buggy. Hi. <gasps> Hi. We'll go look at clothes. I don't really need anything from here today, so I think I need to grab baby. some more sunscreen. Baby. Yeah, you see a baby? <gasps> right now on the Cartwheel app, practically all the tops from all the brands are 20% off, like A New Day. Um, this one's Universal Thread. I love this top. They don't have it in my size. I am, however, getting this little pink plaid one, and then I got a yellow one from A New Day that I'll show you guys when I get home. So the kids are down for a nap, and I figured now I would do a little Target try-on haul for you guys. I have a few new pieces, and they're all from the Universal Thread brand at Target. And since everything is 20% off right now, I figured I would share with you some of the pieces that I picked up. Now, two of the tops that I picked up um, and that I'm gonna show you, I picked up today. And then the shorts and the other two tops I picked up 
um, on another trip. But I wanted to go ahead and show you because they're all really cute, affordable pieces for summer. Okay, this is one of the tops that I picked up today. It's a super cute top. I love this top. It's so cute. You can wear it casual or you can wear it um, if you want to get a little bit dressier for summer. These shorts are also the um, shorts that I picked up from Universal Thread. So this top, um, they had it in another color. What was the other color? I can't even think know what the other color was. Um, but I love this pink and white checkered print. It um, has this like gathering detail here. If you can see it kind of, it just buckles in the back. That's the back there, but it's so cute. I love the style. It's super thin and it's flowy, so I'm not gonna get hot in it at all. And then these shorts are high-waisted shorts, and I typically don't go for high-waisted shorts, but I really, really like these. Um, they are pretty short, so um, they're definitely shorty shorts, but they're nice and comfortable. But one thing I will say, is that um, they run small. So you might want to order a size up. I'm kind of in between sizes right now. Um, like my um, one teaspoon shorts, I originally bought size 27 and they are now too big for me. So I went down to a size 26, but these are a size 27. And um, when I first bought them, they were a little bit tight, but um, I've lost a little bit more weight since I purchased them and they fit really nicely now. So um, these fit like of oh, 26 in one teaspoon shorts, um, maybe even a little bit tighter than that, but um, they fit really, really well right now. I really like these um, and they're cute to have a high-waisted short. I don't have any other high-waisted shorts and um, I really, really like these. I have not washed them yet, so I'm not sure how they're gonna wash, um, but I'm gonna try and go as long as I can without washing because Typically raw hem shorts do not wash well in the wash, but um, this shirt is super cute This is definitely gonna be like a staple for me this summer. It's so comfortable um, I can't remember what the other color was but now I want to pick it up because the shirt is so nice But um, I got a few other things so I'm gonna go ahead and change and show you those here is the second top that I got And I actually got two of these tops just ones in a different color But this is a pretty denim blue and white top it's flowy, it's nice and loose, so it's not gonna be super hot. I'm not gonna sweat to death in it. It's, it's very beachy, like the material, the way that it fits. It even has like a cute design on the back. So there's the back there. It's just got a nice little crisscross detail on the back, um, which I really like. It's really cute when you wear, sorry, the lighting. There we go, the lighting's a little bit better. It, um, it's really cute when you wear your hair in a bun. So yeah. There's this top, I'm gonna change into the other one. It's the same exact style, it's just a different color. And I forgot to mention, all the tops that I got are in a size small. Um, and they fit really, really well. They're not um, too oversized, they're not too small, they're not too short, they fit really nicely. All right, here's the same top, it's just in a different color and I've been loving this color for summer. And I just decided to tuck it into the shorts to give it a little bit different of a look. Um, you can also tie these shirts up like in a knot either on the side or in the center to give it a different sort of look But I love this colored yellow the other top or the last top that I have to show you is also yellow But um, I've been really liking this yellow color. I think it's really nice for summer and yeah, these shirts are just really Cozy and comfortable. I guess cozy is not the right word. They're more comfy than anything They're not cozy because they're not warm, but um, they're just really nice shirts that don't stick to the body that are gonna be really nice for summer for helping you to stay um, nice and cool and not too hot, especially here because it is sweltering here in the summertime. But um, really like this top and I just wear my sticky bra with all of my, um, all of my tank tops like this. But yeah, I wanted to show you this and wanted to show you them tucked in with the high-waisted shorts. Kevin doesn't really like this look. He doesn't care for the high-waisted shorts. He doesn't care for stuff being tucked in. Um, but I think it's cute and that's all that matters really. And last but not least, we have this cute little number and it is actually not by Universal Thread. Um, I thought all the tops that I got were Universal Thread, but it's actually from the brand A New Day. Um, they also had it in white, I believe, but I really liked the yellow. Um, definitely gonna take this top with us when we go to Florida and to Mexico this summer, cause it's just so fun. It's a cotton material and then you've got this um, lace linen 
material at the top, but it's super cute. This is a small, I honestly think I could have sized down in this because it's not super fitted in the shoulders. Um, so I probably could have gone down to an extra small in this. So you might want to try this one on in store, um, but it's so cute and I love the yellow. Um, so this is going to be really fun. It's cute with your hair down, going to be really cute with your hair up as well because it's the off the shoulder and the um, ruffle goes all the way around. But yeah, this is a new day and, um, or by a new day and it's super cute and they also had it in white. I don't know if any other targets have any other colors, but mine just had the white and the yellow. So I wanted to show you guys the little pieces that I picked up um, in case you guys wanted a couple new things for summer. Um, they're all super cute and perfect for summer. Kids are awake from nap. We're about to head to the gym. We've never been to the gym this late in the day. It's 4.30 and they typically don't sleep this late either. Um, today was a little bit different, so they didn't get to go down for a nap until I think it was two o'clock and uh, or a little after two and typically they go for, down for a nap at one. So they slept a little bit later today. We don't have anything to do this afternoon and I didn't get to go to the gym this morning. So we're gonna test out the afternoon situation at the gym. Um, they're having a quick little snack and then we're gonna head out. Um, basically my gym routine lately, I have um, been running, I run three miles. Um, I don't always run the three miles without stopping. Some days I have more energy than others, um, especially since I'm still trying to rebuild my endurance from my plantar fasciitis injury um, so I can't run it completely all the way through but I do run majority of it I think the max amount that I walk is half a mile and I run the rest and then um, I do 200 squats I do 100 squats that are just regular squats and then I do 100 sumo squats um, I do also um, eight pound dumbbells I can probably bump up to 10 pounds but lately there's only been eight or 12 and um, I'm not, I don't know, I just, I can't do the 12. It's too much for me right now. So I do the eight and um, in between my squat sets, I do bicep curls and um, tricep dips and then I'll throw in different arm workouts. So um, I don't do anything too crazy. That's just what works for me and it's been working really well for me lately and I'm building more muscle and um, I'm just leaning out a little bit more. So um, I got on the scale this morning and I was 126. When I started this little journey um, about 10 weeks ago, I was 134. Um, so I've lost like eight pounds, which is awesome. Um, and I'm gonna keep going because I want to be in super, super good shape this summer. So um, in eating wise, um, I have not been the best about eating. I've never, been a great eater. I mean, girl can eat, but eating healthy has always been a struggle for me. I really try to make it a point though to make good choices, but I don't always make good choices and I definitely have cheat meals throughout the week. So, um, but I do for the most part try to eat, um, as well as I can and watch my macros, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and head to the gym now and I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> and I forgot to end the vlog last night, so I'm gonna do that now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.